Hi everybody, welcome again to another episode of Fish Keeping Jamaica. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so today I'll be talking about uh, the sex ratio of your aquarium fish species. Now, I do fish keeping in the back of my yard in tubs, right? In buckets, in totes, whatever you call it, right? I don't do them indoors. And I discover after reading certain literature, I discovered that the amount of males and females you have within a brood or uh, within a within a, a spawn uh or within as far as live bears is concerned yeah uh fries that actually born live right um it dependent on a main variable what is that variable i discover that the variable is temperature yes so if you have some fish in a cool space uh it depends on the temperature because you notice Every fish species that you keep, right? Whether you are a novice fish keeper, a professional fish keeper breeder, or you are a fish keeper that does within the hobby, right? You find that your your fish is actually breeding. Uh, you will realize that sometimes you get a, a spawn and you mostly get males. If you watch that stock, if you watch that 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 set of spawn that have actually been born um, within a given space. And you single out how many males, how many females. Sometimes it's uneven um, to one side. Sometimes it's uneven to the other side. And sometimes it's like it's basically a balance. You know, equal amount of males, equal amount of females. This has to do with the temperature of your aquarium or your pond water, right? So we're talking about the temperature range, right? We're talking about um, you, you, you have uh, imperial cichlids, like what you're looking at right now, right? And you're going to be breeding them, right? They have a specificity as far as um, the variable of temperature. If you want them to breed, if you want them to breed, like looking really awesome like this, right? You have to keep them um, subjective to a particular temperature. If you want more males and females, you have a temperature requirement. How are you going to know that temperature requirement? You're going to have to do some research, right? So if you're going to be breeding, let's say Oscars, right? Now, Oscars have a tendency, they will lay uh, the fries, uh, with the, the, the wrigglers will be there for a bit and then they just die. And that's primarily because, and I discovered this later, that's primarily because of the temperature requirement uh, for breeding Oscars, right? Um, same too with Jack Dempsey. They will, you will have fries, their fries will be swimming, but because of the temperature that exists within the water column, within the water space, should I say, right? You find that your fries actually die, right? The temperature within your aquarium or within your pond space can determine the sex or the gender of your aquarium fish so if you are in breeding uh you i would advise you to actually check up the temperature uh for like say male specific and this is deep 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 stuff right so you're gonna have to do a lot of reading it's not something where you're gonna actually glean from 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 watching youtube videos right uh there are thousands thousands if not millions of different type of fish species out there right and the reason uh, why I can't really say okay goldfish uh, if you want more males and female ensure that the temperature is at this or uh, if you want Oscar uh, if you want male, more males and female ensure that the temperature is at that I can't do that right it depends on where you are at right because everybody is in a different space and that space will require different other variables um such as think about now the variable of uh, pH you're going to think about the variable of um you know uh, adequate aeration you're going to think about the variable of temperature so these variables are a primary concern when thinking about um, breeding your aquarium fish i i believe that the primary variable in gender related um you know dynamics of your aquarium fish species is related to uh the temperature right as i said before the picture um can determine whether or not the eggs actually hatch or whether it doesn't right and um it also determine um uh how it develop if is it going to be developed into a female uh fry or a male fry and you know how fries are right it, it's a little bit difficult at times to identify the male and the female uh at at at, at that point in time when it is hatched or it's born right um it, it's, it's very difficult at times so um you know we we we, we, we tend as fish keeper to just go with the ride whatever comes comes but um you know some persons 
um, don't want to really breed any fish. They just want to have the fish in the aquarium space. So you want to breed more males, right? Or females, right? Or you might end up with um, crossbreeding uh, to some extent if you end up mixed uh, different species together. For example, um, firemouth with, uh, let's say that you have female firemouth and, and, and a male um, Jack Dempsey, you might end up with a crossbreed there or a, a fire mode and a, um, and a, a convict cichlid, you might have a crossbreed there. So you have to be very careful when actually stocking your aquarium, uh, whereas if you are not really interested in breeding that fish species. Thank you very much for stopping by. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Peace out. Peace.